Good morning. Oh, wait. Bad morning. Oh. Get out of bed, sis. If you're going to be here, you got to work. Probably wondering why I came back to the family farm in the middle of the night. Uh huh. Well, it all started when. Less talking, more farming. Uh -huh. It's just Maud has a boyfriend. I'm not jealous. Who said anything about jealous? Don't be. He's super duper weird. And somehow he tricked Maud into liking him. And now I'll never get to see her again! <sighs> I came home because you two know her better than any pony. What am I missing? What does she see in him? What does he have that I don't? <laughs> Back up, Pinkie Pie. You look as miserable as I feel all the time. That I love Maud and I want to love Mudbriar, but I can't see anything to like about him. Ugh, fine. We're taking a work break. Come on! I'm looking at a sparkling bright blue and white rock. See it? You mean that lumpy gray one? No, the beautiful blue and white one, right there. I would not describe that as beautiful blue or white, but <laughs> okay. Show her. It's a geode. The outside looks like a regular rock, but the inside is filled with beautiful gems. So you're saying I should crack open Mudbriar like a rock? It all makes sense! No, wait, it doesn't. It's a metaphor, Pinky. You see Mudbriar as a rock, but Maud sees him as a gem. Even if you never see past his dullness, you can see how happy he makes Maud. And to his sister, that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. Oh, limestone marble, thank you. I don't know what I'd do without you two. Bye, pile! Okay, okay. You're crushing me to gravel, Pinky. I really owe Mudbriar an apology. <gasps> and I owe Maud a party. I just hope I'm not too late. 